this video we will um, create files uh, for our project files and folders and we will also um, create a database for our system so uh, for that let's go to the um, let's go and download Buddhist app for our system since we are using um, Buddhist app let's go to Buddhist tab download sorry I haven't connect to my internet so let's wait for a while and here you go so go to the first link buddhist app get buddhistrap.com and if you go here you will see um, download link so you can download or you can just um, use IDE and um, so you just uh, download the Buddhist strap and um, so after downloading it uh, you we will um, go further so I've already downloaded I don't have to download the Buddhist strap so um, just download the Buddhist strap and after you have downloaded just um, copy the um, Buddhist strap so let's go inside the download and software and I have um, my Buddhist tab here just um, copy the folder after you unzipped it and um, let's go to the um, our root folder root sam folder and so inside the um, htdocs root folder just paste your Buddhist tab folder and let's rename our system so just go and rename since we are building um, let's say um, library management system okay so name it library management system and open this folder with um, um, Bootstrap uh, Visual Studio. So open this with Bootst um, Visual Studio, and let's make it a little bigger, as you so you can see. So um, inside this, we will also um, first of all let's we will only um, need this Bootstrap dot mean dot CSS so otherwise you can download uh, you can delete them all so let's uh, select them let's um, deselect the bootstrap means.css and you can delete them since we are not using it um, all so within the um, js folder you can also uh, delete except this bootstrap dot min dot css so um, you can delete them so your um, folder uh, should be light and after um, doing this we will create a one another folder called utility so inside it we will um, be having database connections and stuffs so now that we will um, say classes so in this folder we will have um, classes that we need since we're using uh, object oriented PHP and we will also um, build a home page for our page so um, after doing this all uh, so inside the um, home page we will um, create a HTML page so let's create a HTML page and I will keep it a, um, a library management system name title um, library management system and we will link our um, CSS file so just link href and our, um, our bootstrap will be inside a CSS folder 
and folder and the file name is bootstrap dot main dot css so this is our link and the relation will be style sheet and the type will be um, text and CSS so that's it so we have linked our bootstrap we will check it later so let's also um, link our um, bootstrap, um, JS, bootstrap JS files so let's um, open is open and close script tag and we will uh, define type mm, type it should be text and JavaScript and our fire source will be um, JS and bootstrap bootstrap min.js undefined it here boot strap dot main dot js so um, this should be good and um, I'm also using a uh, font awesome to get some icons so let's also get the um, font awesome icon so I will put this link um, in the comment section so I have to um, select and copy the link so let's minimize this and let's put it um, here and uh, we will also get some um, JavaScript link so we will use um, jQuery CDN go to the jQuery CDN go to the jQuery website and as you can see you can um, link this un uncompressed JavaScript um, link so let's just copy it and go to the project and you can just um, paste it here so that um, we can be um, it, it will allow us to use um, jQuery so let's make it look a little nice and here it is so um, let's um, comment it so that we won't be um, um, confused so uh, style links so I'm just generally giving it a comment you can also specify so um, before we create our database let's uh, check if our Buddhist step and uh, styles are working or not so for that I will create a class container um, just create class container and inside container I will um, define h1 and just test for the test we will um, create our page later so this is our home page just save it and after saving it you can go to the um, browser and let's open our system localhost library management system so as you can see here we have successfully or create um, linked our bootstrap so now our bootstrap is working so uh, you can also just put a um, CDN link but um, it will be good practice to download and um, keep um, the required file inside your um, project folder so that will be so if you put CDN then it will only work if you have um, um, internet so otherwise if you download it and uh, if you put it your in your project and it will work 
um, both online and offline so this is uh, this is just a little um, good ex um, if you working if you work on a real life project then you should download the all the required files so uh, now we'll create a database for our system and just go to the um, um, the um, server homepage. So for that, local host and PHP my admin. So inside the PHP um, um, database folder, we will create a database. So it will be um, um, just a DB library. So we'll simply put our name um, db uh, underscore and uh, lab library. So just create this database. And inside the um, database, we will have a um, table called books. So the books will have um, just four columns. So click go. So after um, it, you will um, specify the field names so first of all there will be book id and so book id will be auto increment and it should also um, work as primary key and after that we will um, have um, book title here and after the book description book description and author so book title will be Vachar and it will have an excellent length of 255 characters. Let's um, define them all 255s. So the Vachar will um, just um, occupy, take space as as um, many characters as you uh, as you use. Otherwise, it will um, avoid the um, using extra spaces so watch how is um, the um, correct choice for us and just save it now inside the db library we have book table so we will uh, we have book id book title book description and author name so this should be um, good to go so in, uh, in the next video we will uh, work on designing our home page so thank you guys for watching just subscribe comment if you have any questions and we will uh, we'll see you in the next video thank you